So, uh, Senator German, as far as what we're talking about today, the, the government shutdown's impact on federal prison employees, uh, what did you do today as far as uh, the discussion here with uh, people impacted by the shutdown? Well, I'll tell you, I sense when I walk in the room that these uh, men and women who are working for our federal government without a paycheck are going through some real hardship. Uh, I, I sense meetings and as I go into the room, and I thought, these folks are really up against it. This is not easy on them or their families, and it's totally unnecessary. We should never, ever be using government shutdowns and hurting innocent people like these prison guards. How important was uh, the president's announcement over the weekend about the, the deal, protections for DREAMers and other, uh, other areas uh, of border security in regards to this shutdown? How important was his uh, decision to, to release those things? I think the president's statement was important. <clears throat> it moves us forward to, to think of an ending, an end game here. And what he's done is to move the conversation from the Situation Room in the White House, which was going nowhere, to the floor of the United States Senate, where we're going to face a debate as soon as this Thursday. So in, in that respect, it was a step forward. But we still have to reach an agreement, and I propose we stay in session until we do. And where do you go from the president's proposal? Uh, you talked about it not necessarily being enough to pass in the Senate. Uh, why is it not enough, and, and where do you go? I think Democrats feel that uh, there are aspects of it that uh, are uh, not fair and don't include everything necessary. It still has his $5.7 billion. He's not compromised on that at all. This is a matter, most of which has to be resolved in a room with people in good faith sitting down and saying, let's get it done. Why is $5.7 billion not enough? I mean, there's a lot of people in this area, especially, that believe that there could be more money spent at the border wall. What do you tell them? If you take a look at the history of this, we've never been able to spend that kind of money in one year. It can't be. To, to say we're going to build 230, 240 miles of uh, these fences and barriers, it's never been done before. And it takes time to do it and do it right, to have access and purchase the real estate where it's going to be located, competitive bidding for people who are going to construct it. All these things follow the law so the taxpayers at the end of the day don't end up with something that's that's... Uh, substandard or doesn't do the job for our country. And how optimistic are you that the shutdown's going to end soon? I wouldn't say I'm optimistic, but I'm realistic. If we're moving to the point where there's a debate on the floor of the Senate, we've moved forward.